Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Friday, August 21st of 2020. Well, as I look back at the last few morning prayers, I believe the Father is trying to reach His children to prepare us for what is coming shortly. This is not a doomsday prophecy today, just a reminder of what we are called to do within our own lives. Because Jesus paid the ultimate price so we could walk in the newness of life. The Apostle Paul spent most of his ministry time preaching and teaching on living the new life in Christ. In fact, there is a common thread that runs through all of his epistles. The old man has died. Behold, all things are become new. This is the life that we are all called to live in Christ. So today, this morning's prayer reminds us to put off the old man and live in the righteousness and holiness of the new creation that we've become in Christ. Father, as a testimony to you, may we no longer walk as the rest of the world walks in their futility of their thinking. Their understanding has been darkened, and they are separated from you because of the ignorance in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Having lost all sensitivity, they have given themselves over to sensuality and indulge in every kind of lewdness, working all uncleanness through greed. But this is not how Jesus has taught us, Father. He taught us to live through him, for he taught us according to your truth, because he is the truth. He has taught us to put off our old self, which is being corrupted by his deceitful desires, and that we are to be renewed in the spirit of our mind. We must put on the new man, created to be like you, Father, in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, we renounce lying and take on truth as our standard with everyone. Our anger shall not cause us to sin, disappearing shortly after it appears, not giving place to the enemy. Father, we strive to not let any unwholesome talk come out of our mouths. Only shall we speak to encourage and edify, being full of grace and mercy to those we encounter. We will be careful to not grieve your Holy Spirit, who sealed us for the day of redemption. O oh, Father, in doing so, we shall also remove ourselves from all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Help us to continuously be kind to one another, tender-hearted, and forgiving of one another, just as Christ has forgiven us. Father, it is in the mighty name of Jesus that we pray this morning. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.